Hello everyone, welcome to MJ Central. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a recap of Toss Jackson's latest YouTube live stream. So without further ado, let's get started. That's right everybody, today we're going to be doing a recap of Toss Jackson's latest live stream. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright everybody, so here we have an article that says Taz Jackson updates the fans on his documentary, Rewriting History, and we'll be talking more about that later. But let's get on with the article. Taz Jackson has done a live stream yesterday. He started to tell the fans that many Jackson family members were infected with COVID during the Christmas season, and it was a very scary moment, but they all recovered. He spoke about spreading the truth about Michael Jackson, including the tape he found of himself with Michael Jackson, Taj Baby Talk. Taj also spoke about leaving Neverland 2, which Dan Reed is supposedly working on. No matter what, the time is not working and therefore there is no base to the allegations. He also told that the only way people know the name Dan Reed is because of Michael Jackson and he is not going to let it go as this gives him a purpose in life. Regarding the Broadway musical MJ the Musical, Taj said he did not see the show and he saw all the positive reviews from it. But he said that in February, the press will bring back the allegations in the news and has a lot of bad press will be on its way. And we all need to be prepared for it. His only issues with it is that he hopes that the musical does not portray the brothers and family in a bad way. He pointed out that he still hasn't seen the show so he cannot judge on it but he is very cautious about it. Talking about Janet's documentary, he is very excited about it and spoke about the comment in the trailer guilty by association. That's how they call it, right? And he explained that all the family had to deal with the allegations in some sort and dealing with the repercussions they had. During the live session, he confirmed that his documentary series is his top priority for 2022. If it really comes out in 2022, it will be only near the end of the year. He feels that the series Truth Ones Marathons will give the chance for people to understand who Michael Jackson was. The documentary is officially going to be recalled Rewriting History instead of Truth Ones Marathons. The play on words means a lot to Taj and to all those who are participating in the documentary. Alright everybody, so that is the article. Now let's talk about it. The book is back. I know you guys really wanted to see it, so here it is. Alright, so the first thing we're going to talk about is COVID, that's right. Um, unfortunately, Taj Jackson did say at the very early of his stream that he did uh, test positive for COVID, him and his family. And uh, he said it was actually his way to kick off the year. It was very early 2022. Now that is obviously a sad thing. He did say that the little ones were sick too and you know, throwing up and not feeling well. But he did say that he stayed positive and had a positive mindset. And I think that's probably one of the best ways you can deal with Something pretty unfortunate. He did say a little bit after that. <coughs> so yeah, after he finished his COVID, um, his car was keyed, but he always stayed positive. So I think that was a great mindset he had going in 22, even though uh, right off the bat, he had to deal with some challenges. All right. And the next thing is baby talk. Now, baby talk was really, really cool. And if you don't know what it is, go on the Taz Jackson YouTube channel. I'll also leave the link down below for the video, which was... An audio recording of Michael Jackson when he was 17 and Taj was 2 and they were just talking then they sang some Mickey Mouse and he said it actually really made him emotional when um, he heard it again and I think he released about a minute or so of it and um, I think he said that the full version is 6 minutes and he doesn't know if he's going to use it for his docu-series which we'll talk about later or if he'll just release it all on YouTube one day. But Baby Talk, if you guys haven't checked it out, I really recommend you checking it out. It really, like, humanizes Michael in another way. And it's truly amazing to see how Michael was with his nephews. Now, everybody else talked about Leaving Neverland 2. And if you don't know what Leaving Neverland 2 is, it's supposed to be the sequel, obviously, to Leaving Neverland. And it was supposed to show Wade and James, you know, in their court stuff um, after Leaving Neverland came out. But as you guys know, everything they've ever done just got dismissed. And as you guys know, the media hasn't really been reporting on these dismissals. So if Dan Reed comes out and shows all these dismissals, I personally think it'll actually um, help out Michael's side, really. Because then they might show, wow, so like, if they're doing all these things, if they even put down how much they're really suing for, which is the $1.5 billion, um, then maybe, you know, the public can see, wow, maybe this really was for money. So if they do release a Leaving Neverland 2, I think it'll actually help out Michael's side. Everybody will see that it was just for money and how the lies can add up because they keep getting thrown out of court. 
I truly don't believe they're going to go through with the leaving Neverland 2 because everything that they thought was going to happen isn't happening. And it will actually be a vindication for Michael Jackson if they even go through with this. So I think they should just leave it as is and give Michael's estate their money. Now everybody, we're talking about MJ the Musical. You know, he said that he really hopes that it does portray the Jackson family in a good way. And I haven't heard anything about it. I think, though... They might have said something to do with Joseph and maybe just show how he was a tough and a dis disciplinarian. But I don't think it says anything negative about the brothers. At least I can't see them doing that. Um, I, and I hope they don't. I, I, I just don't see it. Um, that being a part of the musical. And it did say, he did say something very, very true. <coughs> Sorry. He did say something very, very true, which is be prepared for the media to bring up the allegations. And it has already started. I can't remember which one it was, but they did say, you know, there was a couple ones actually saying how will MJ the musical deal with MJ the scandal, and then other things saying how the allegation was a part of it because it was a year before and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I do think, you know, February 1st will be, uh, let's just say, maybe, I'm not trying to be rude, or I'm not trying to say anything disrespectful, but maybe a bittersweet day. Yes, because it is the grand opening and they must be so excited, but they are going to do whatever they can and bring that up, even though they have already been, <laughs> sorry, you know, the allegations have already been dismissed and disproven so many times, but they will always bring it up until something, you know, like Todd's documentary, which we will be talking about later, so something like that does come out, um, and of course, Todd by Media, all these things, but yes, I think as fans, we should be very, very excited, and like I said, I still cannot wait to see it, and I hope to see it one day, but let's also be prepared for some backlash we will receive, unfortunately, on opening night and on. Then he talks about the Janet documentary, and as you guys know, people got mad at Janet, and there was a whole fiasco uh, in the media when Janet said about Michael's allegations, guilty by association, that's what they call it, right? Now, in here, Taj actually says how 3T, you know, got uh, impacted by the allegations, because when the allegations came out, no German radio station played any of Jackson family music. No Jackson 5, no Jacksons, Michael Jackson. Janet Jackson, and of course, 3T. And now that was when, like, 2004 was when 3T released an album. So there goes all of Germany for your promotion. So that's what they meant by guilty by association. They never said that Michael Jackson was guilty. They were just saying how when something happened in the family, being that popular, like how we talked about in the last video about Janet, uh, how, you know, she was saying how having the last name Jackson could be kind of tough. That's how, you know, that's exactly what they mean. They weren't saying anything disrespectful to Michael. They were showing how when Michael was going through uh, his challenging times, how it had impact on the whole family. And the last thing he talked about was about his docuseries that he's in the works on. Now, he did say, which was probably the biggest thing about uh, the live stream, that there has been a change in the name. It was called Truth Ones Marathons, but now, as we said in the article, it's now called Rewriting History, which is amazing. Obviously, you know, has a good play on rewriting and of course history for his album and that's exactly what it is this is what Taj was saying it's exactly what it is we are rewriting uh his legacy in a way <coughs> and debunking all the things against michael jackson now he did say that there is a very slight chance that it will come out in 2022 but if it does come out in 22 it'll be very very late 22 like probably december or maybe november the earliest is what i could <coughs> sorry is what i could see for that he also said that he would have loved for this Doctor series to already be out. However, he is looking for a, you know, um, the best platform because this he doesn't want this to be a thing that will just be seen in the UK, just be seen in North America. Okay, he wants this to be seen worldwide, so everybody can see and everybody can you know know what Michael Jackson had to go through. I truly believe that this is going to be a big thing in Michael Jackson's legacy, and I do really think that this will vindicate him. Uh, you know, especially with you have a family member working on something, you know the passion he's going to put into this. And um, it's really going to humanize him, and I cannot wait for this. I know it's been a, a long time in the making already, and I know some people might be getting frustrated, and he's apologized about it, but COVID has impacted it a lot. He can't get all the interviews he wants to do. But, you know, just we got to be patient and wait, and the best is yet to come, as Michael, you know, would say. And this is truly going to be one of the best things for Michael Jackson's legacy, and I really believe it. Another thing he said is that somebody asked him, do you think Jordan Chandler will say that everything was a lie? And he says he really does believe that will happen. Now, you know, that kind of got me thinking, does Taj know more than we do? 
like it would be you know interesting if maybe he got Jordan Chandler in this docu series. You know, just how he said it, he said it like he knew. <laughs> and I kind of was thinking like, whoa, could this actually be a thing? Because I know he's going to try to get a lot of people, you know, that's been with Michael in that, you know, way with sense where people made rumors about them. Like, maybe he'll even get Macaulay Culkin. I don't know right now. I don't really know who he has interviewed at the moment. But, um, so it kind of got me thinking. And let me know in the comments below. Do you think there's a chance that Jordan Chandler will be in his hockey series? And he did say when Jordan Chandler says that everything was a lie, this will 100% vindicate Michael Jackson. And I 1000% agree with that. And it's just a matter of time before that happens. If you would like to see the full live stream, I will have the link down below. Alright everybody, that is it for this video. Now let me know in the comments below, do you plan on watching Taj Jackson's docuseries? I definitely do, and I can't wait for it to come out. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you won't miss out on any new videos. You can also follow MJ Central on TikTok at MJCentral1958. Alright everybody, that's it for this video, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.